See how we feel about that then. I'm going to listen to our audio. You ready? Demetri McCroskey. Yes. Dr. Demetri McCroskey. Alright, this is our first trial podcast. Me and Dr. Demetri McCroskey. Uh, coming to you live from Savannah, uh, Georgia. And um, our topic is... Life. <laughs> our topic is... <laughs> Life. <laughs> Life, life. Life. Our topic is life. Um, so I guess we need to pick an aspect of life because life can be so very general. Um, and the doctor is here. I, I, I like to play with my friend a lot. I say, so, you know, I, my heart ain't beating right. You're a doctor. She likes to remind me, listen, I can make an educated guess. Bitch, that's all I can do. I, you know. That's it. Um, so, uh, she's basically the doctor of figuring out shit, which to me, y'all is, you, 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 you gotta get to the root. You gotta get to the root. And, and, and she has learned the root. She didn't go and say, I'm a doctor of your heart. I'm a doctor of your mind. I'm a doctor of your, your lungs or your liver. She said, look, I'm going to get to the root. Why is your shit fucked up, really? And I and I really uh, appreciate that. So, here we are just kind of playing around with the concept of using a source, uh, 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 you know, to uh, make that outlet for what we feel inside. So, doctor, look, I'm going to ask you a question. What in the fuck makes you want to become a doctor, nigga? You could have just stayed at master's. You could have stayed at bachelor's. It would have been cheaper. What made you become a doctor? It would have been a hell of a lot cheaper. Um, But I think for me, in wanting to obtain the education was... How can I start a movement to create the biggest impact, right? Yeah. Uh, When you want to be a change agent, sometimes you have to um, follow the road less trotted, right? You have to... Uh, and I, I didn't say create a path for a reason because I'm, I'm walking in the path of other people. But it's not a lot of people who have walked that path. Uh, so it's just less trying. It's less people who have that story. But at the same time, that pathway opens to more possibilities than the road that's wide and everybody goes down, right? Uh, and so for me, being a country girl from Shiloh, Tennessee, and Shallow, shout out, shout out to Shallow. just wanting to give people thanking God for allowing me to be able to be the example for other people like my daughter like my cousins 
like my friends. Um, that's what really inspired me to seek out doctoral education. I like it. So I, I like it. So that, that brings me to my very next question. I didn't know my questions. Now I know my questions. <laughs> because what 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 I heard when you definitely said that is is statistical or or, or, or what I what I okay is um generational curse breaker. That that's what I basically heard. I didn't hear it that way. I gave it that term. You saw something and you decided that, and that's so beautiful, that you are creating a generation. You have an opportunity. People call it making a child in the median a mistake, but you made a child. And so let's just take that, that, that out the way of mistake and let's say, all right, I created a child. Now what do I do with this? Now, now how do I put this thing in the world and and have it to impact or not impact my um, community? Let let can, talk to me about what people said. What? How did you feel like? What people said versus what you did. Give me like a small, quick, 60 second thing on that. Uh, I got a, a, a wide spectrum of reactions, right? Uh, for my family, it was like, go do that shit. Uh, specifically for my grandfather, he was like, go do it, go get it done. Uh, on the other side of that, I had people who questioned if I truly had the ability to be a full-time single mother, a full-time uh, a grant director, and a full-time student. Uh, so, it, like I said, it was a wide spectrum of, yes, I fully support you, and... Uh, I mean, you could try, but I don't know if that's going to be the best option for you with the different factors that you have going on right now in your life. Okay. So that was kind of Did it, um, now I want you, because I really want to walk through this step by step. What emotions were produced? Uh, good and bad, I think, because good, good because from the moment I entered into the program, um, it was instilled in me like, you're, you are already a doctor. Like the fact that you've gotten to this place to be enrolled, to be you know, going through the coursework, you're already a doctor. Uh, but as a black woman, as a first generation student, as a person who I think maybe, I want to say maybe one of my like third cousins has a doctorate or something like that. It's not, uh, that I, I said that to say the other emotion was what I've heard a lot about recently like an imposter syndrome right uh, so there's the, the thought of yes you are here but do you deserve to be here right mm -hmm. uh, yes you have uh, come this far but, like, how did you get here? Like, did you mm -hmm. read all the stuff that you were supposed to read? Did you write that paper the way you were supposed to write that paper? Or are they just being, like, gracious to you? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, are you, you know, are you really as good as these other people who've been in education for 20, 30 years? 
are you as good as this person who's getting all these awards for their work in education like there was a lot of imposter syndrome that also came with it um, and 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 that that I think is a uh, side effect um, whenever we have to whatever we have to grow, whatever we have to change, right? Because if we're so used to doing it one way or being viewed as one thing, when we change, uh, it makes it difficult or you have to, you still have to find yourself, your yeah. own identity, yeah. right? So, uh, that's what I dealt with. I dealt with, you know, plenty of joy and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this process. But then at the, at the same time, I dealt with a lot of, okay, you're doing this process, but do you deserve it? Are you worthy? Are you, should you be here? Uh, are you smart enough? Uh, I dealt with a lot of that as well. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we have heard from Dr. Demetri McCroskey. This is some this is some good juice. This is good stuff. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in with y'all in the next three minutes, and I'm going to try to figure out the process. What is the process that you are willing to take? A woman like us standing before before us. You don't know her ethnicity. You don't know her sexuality. You don't know her sexual claim. What 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 are we doing here? But but we are hearing her, and we're understanding her fight, and that's a real fight. How can you say one thing? How can you feel one thing about me? How can it be set in stone that what you say is real? How can it be set in stone that what I do is real? I'm very inspired. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.